actions have got to match your words. It's just that simple. Talking about it ain't gonna make it happen, guys. Dreaming about it ain't gonna make it happen. Laying on your back looking at your ceiling in your bedroom ain't gonna make it happen. Your actions gotta match your words. You wanna be the fastest guy in Norfolk? You better get out the bed running every morning, right? You better do things to make that happen. You wanna be the strongest guy in Newport News? You better be in that new weight room I just dropped off over there for y'all. Y'all better use that thing too. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is this. I hear words so often, I hear words from y'all. I laugh, because it don't mean nothing. How many of y'all rolled by me today? Man, I'm gonna play for you one day. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever, keep it moving, young fella. <laughs> don't talk me to death. When you show up at training camp, hit me on the ass and say, hey coach, I told you five years ago, man, I was gonna be here. Good, good to see you, man, let's go to work. That's my mentality. Don't talk me to death. This game ain't for all of y'all. Some of y'all just wear it because play because of the jersey you got on your back. This is a violent game. This is an emotional game. That's okay. If you love it, if you love it, you might be the right man for the J-O-B. As players of the National Football League, as former players of the National Football League, guess what? For every one of them, and they'll tell you when they come up here, is eight to ten guys that played ball with them in high school, that went to school for free because they went to school on football scholarship, and they, and they fell into my category. They weren't good enough. And they pharmaceutical salespeople, and they teachers, and they professionals, and so forth. And they live and work right around this area right now. Legendary dudes to us, y'all don't even remember their name. That ain't the point. The point is this. Life is good for them. They're being very productive. The skills that they use in regards to the game of football, they carried it on to the other aspects of their life, man, and it, it's taken them to great places. That's what this game will give to you. My mom is always worried about my disappointment because she know how I go after stuff. So she tried to lessen the blow or shorten the fall for me by trying to talk me out of stuff. I've been telling my mother, man, for the last 15 years I was going to be a head coach in the NFL, and she laughed. She did. That's my mama. Don't nobody love me like my mama, but she ain't want me to be disappointed. You know what I mean? So she tried to talk me out of it. I ain't hearing it. You understand? Whatever that you have in your mind that you're going to do, don't let nobody take you off your game. There might be somebody that's very close to you, your biggest supporter, and they might not support a dream or aspiration that you have. And it might not be for negative reasons. It might just, they might, be, they might love you so much, they don't want you to be disappointed. You can't listen to them. All we trying to do is do what was done for us. Pass it on to you. You take the lessons that you learn here, be the very best as you can be, whether it's a football or any other, any other walk of life, and then you in turn pass it on to the next young cat. That's what this game provides you. It might be the next coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers sitting out here in this audience. I sat out there in that audience not that long ago. When you decide to do something, you do it. For every person that encourages you, encourages you there's going to be a hundred that don't. Don't listen to the people that don't. And you really don't have to listen to the people that do. Because if you really made the decision, you don't need encouragement from nobody else, do you? Um, the longer I'm in this game and doing what I do, uh, the less I'm willing to want to talk people into loving it like I love it. You know what I'm saying, man? I, 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 get, I get very little patience now for trying to talk people into, into loving this thing. What I, what I've come to realize, now that I have my own children and I've been doing this for a long time, I don't care whether or not my boys play ball, truly. You got to love this game to be involved in this game. It ain't for everybody. But if you do love it, those are the guys I want to talk to today. Because if you love this game, 
the lessons that this game will teach you, the sacrifices you make, the way you discipline yourselves to put everything you got into this game, you can use those tools to be extremely successful in life regardless of what it is you do. We ain't about a bunch of talk in the National Football League, are we guys? You talk for only so long, then somebody kicked the ball off, and then talking stops. <laughs> for real. This game ain't for everybody, man. It's emotional, it's violent, it's a beautiful thing, if that's your thing. If it's not, take your energies and your passions and heart to something else. But remember those lessons, man. When you decide nobody gets you off, make sure that you're taking the daily steps to make your dreams a reality. Because again, every dude that you ever aspire to be like, or meet, or think is doing great things, come from Wakefield, come from Hampton, come from Denby. They come from somewhere. They ain't dropping out of spaceships, bro. They regular dudes. Me, head coach Pittsburgh Steelers, having a heck of a time. But nah, I'm from Denby. I'm a Newport News boy. That's who I am. That's who I am.